Hi guys, so before we go into uh, looking at the target uh, being hit, I thought we'd have a recap on basically what the Swallowtail can and can't uh, reach and, and what affects it. So uh, I've made a key at the bottom there on the left hand side. So corrosive, uh, obviously the, uh, the yellow symbol there, you can see there are basically two of the super turrets uh, and there's a couple of uh, turrets, one at the bottom and one on the left hand side. Those are corrosive, they can all be outranged actually. Which I was quite pleased with the UAVs. A little bit careful there, but um, a bit of good driving, you can do that. Uh, next one, the penetrative stuff. So, obviously, um, the Kodiaks are there, and there's a turret there on the top left hand side, uh, and there's a smaller one on the uh, middle right hand side, um, which you can't actually outrange, unfortunately. Um, fortunately, the one on the bottom, sort of semi on the right, then, if you hit that gate that's next to it, actually it'll chain and it'll take out that uh, turret as well as the corrosive one to its, to its left as well. So that's quite decent. Uh, the last thing to say is basically the stun ice fields, uh, and that's the ammo carriers that are marked with blue. Um, the ice fields, obviously, you can drive through them. The swallow tail is not affected by those, but it does stun the other ships, so it makes your life a lot easier for your UAVs. Uh, there we go. Right, uh, let's have a look at the target. So the target's running at times three speed. You can slow it down if you want to. Um, there you go to get some Kodiak then. Um, taking out the gate now as well. And there's that ammo carrier should die off and then create an ice field. Yep. So I was trying to trap those two Kodiaks there in the ice field, but it didn't quite work out as well as I was hoping. So like I said, it's been the second time I've hit this target. So it could be a lot worse. I'm going to try and take out, uh, I think I'd probably take out those three ships there, which proves you can outrange them. There you go. Uh, those are corrosive damage, obviously. Um, taking at that gate, and they're going to come back and get those other. Uh, the fact, now I'll go down and take out the uh, other two ships on the other side first. Now, I was going to nip in and try and take at that turret first, but I'm going to take out the penetrative one you'll see in a second. There we can outrange that one there, and then we're going to go down slightly south and take out that uh, penetrative turret, I think, first, because it just slightly gets in the way. And I didn't want to risk being hit while I was trying to outrange those other ships. There we go. It's done. The ships come out. Now you notice, look, because I'm outranging them, they're not actually giving me any corrosive damage, which is quite nice. Like I say, I can't, uh, can't help the Kodiaks. They're just, um, they can't be outranged. So. Now these ships can be outranged. Oh, I've triggered them, unfortunately. But look, I'm racing out the way, so not actually doing a great deal of damage. So that's quite good. Take that bottom turret out. Well, the center actually also with the um, the ammo carrier spawn. So take that out first, and then obviously down to the south and take out that um, large turret. And this is where you go around the outside now, and you'll notice the chaining range, which is nice because obviously there is a penetrative turret there and a corrosive turret, and I can chain across both of those and to that other gate as well. So that's quite handy. Take this gate out, and then it'll be the next set of Kodiaks as well. And I was trying to get these to bunch up, they didn't. They went all over the place, so wasn't very helpful but um, I did sort of like try and turn the, uh, the ship drive into them but um, like I said it's only the second time I've used this target so it wasn't perfect and now we're up to take out these two I think I can outrange these just about yeah um, the turret there on the left hand side it didn't quite go so I'm driven into it I went a little bit too close um, and I accelerated away and you'll notice then that actually it's done fire and it will fire behind you if you do a drive-by so hopefully we'll see some of those um, done fire ones in the proper proper uh, raid targets here we go the last one to be out to, uh, oh it can't be out range sorry it's penetrative so it's a case of driving around it there we go target complete um, like I say no corrosive a little bit of penetrative there and about 30 minutes just over three ships uh, that's the build I'm going for basically Two normal ships with full power, um, that's that's my goal anyway. Uh, I'm not sure about the armies yet, but um, yeah, seeing as there's not a lot of corrosive, I may end up going with three penetrative, and uh, the flagship and the others are going to have um, some MDS-3s on. No cat measures as it stands at the moment. Right, there we go. Hope that helps. TSM out. All the best.